Let me show you how to quickly build a landing page with Divi's AI website builder. Plus you're going to have all the power of Divi's builder with the website you're going to create. So let's get started. If you didn't know, Divi Builder is one of the most powerful website builders for WordPress. Now it's my personal favorite, so I'm going to recommend it to you. OK, so this is Divi and I already have it installed on this website. And on this video, I'm going to show you how to build the website, but with Divi's AI. Plus, we're going to have the power of the Divi Builder inside of this. OK, so before I show you that, let me show you the sponsor for this video, which is Hostinger. So if you are planning to grab a hosting plan to install Divi, I do recommend that you check out Hostinger. Now jump over to the link in the description, go to services and in services, you're going to find web hosting. Once you're here, you're going to find their shared hosting plans that are really affordable. Now they have plans for $2.99 and all the way up to $7.99. So if you plan to install a bunch of sites and have the best limits for the shared hosting, I do recommend that you check out Cloud Startup. You'll be able to install up to 100 websites, but do consider the 100 gigabyte NVMe storage limit. OK, so let's go ahead and choose this plan. And the first thing that Hostinger is going to ask you is how many months do you want to pay in advance? I recommend 48 months because you're going to lock in the lowest price and the lowest renewal price. Plus, you'll be good to go for four years. Now, this is the current price. But if you click on have a coupon code and type in my code or paste it in and apply it, the price is going to drop to $345 with 17 cents. That's for four years paid off with the plan. That's a cloud startup plan, which is a really great plan and really great limits. So use my coupon code if you plan to grab a hosting plan on hosting gear. OK, so back to my WordPress site. Now, in this case, we're going to jump into page and we're going to add a brand new page because we're going to use the AI power of a Divi. Now you have two options right here. I'm just going to say test two right here. You have the option to use the Divi builder, which is what we're going to do. And you have the option to use the default builder. You could like Gutenberg in this case. You can use both if you want to use it. But if you have Divi installed on the WordPress site, you definitely want to use Divi. Now, once you're here, you have three options. Start from scratch, which is a plain website. You do everything from scratch. Choose a pre-made template, which is one of my favorites because they have really good templates. And then you just go ahead and tweak it. And then we're going to use the build with AI, which is what we're going to do for testing purposes. Now, this is where you're going to describe your website. Now, the cool part about this is that you get 10 layouts for free which you can really take advantage when you are installing this on a WordPress site. OK, so let me go ahead and, and say that this is for a coffee shop for specialty coffee brewing method. OK, then you can tell Divi about the website, which I'm not going to do in this case. We're going to keep it simple. OK, and we can use stock images to make it faster or we can do the whole thing with AI, even the images with AI. OK, so let's go ahead and do that. You also have the option for customizing font and colors. In this case, I'm not going to tweak anything like of that right now. But I'm going to show you what this is capable of doing. Now, my favorite part about this is that once this is built, we get the power of DV Builder, which is something that you're not going to get with some of the other AI builders out there. You might have like that, uh, like template dinky uh, builder that most have, which is kind of OK, but it's kind of daunting moving things around and doing the change in your website once it's built with AI. But in this case, you got the power of DB. So that's my favorite part about this. So let's wait for the results. OK, let's see the results for this uh, coffee shop website. Let's see what it resulted here. So this is the fonts that it's using, and these are the colors that it's using for this coffee shop. So would you like to save these fonts and colors for future AI layouts? And no, because this is just a test. OK, so here we go. Now we have the elements added right here. This is a coffee shop. You got some brewing methods, pour over, French press. It got some images available here, specialty coffee menu. So it even created like a small menu there. Nothing fancy, but it did create a menu and we got more details available here. So now we have a landing page built with AI using Divi. Now, the beauty about this is that we have the power of Divi. So all of these elements can be edited with the Divi options. So for example, if I select this, I can go ahead and type in and change things. I can also click on the gear icon and I'll have a bunch of settings available that you wouldn't normally have on other builders. In this case, for example, in the content, we're able to change the heading, which is what we're viewing right now. We have the option to add a link to make this uh, heading a link, which we don't want to do. The background settings, which we can add colors, gradients, patterns, mask, etc. All from here. Admin label, design settings for the text. You can add some shadows here if you like. Change the shadow settings from there. Change colors, etc. The heading text, if you want to change the font, the style, the sizing sizing, spacing, borders, box shadows. You can even transform. So if you want to move this freely, that is possible with Divi. Things that are not super easy and common 
with other builders. You also have the transform option. So if you want to move this around, uh, get a little bit crazy there if you want. Here we go. You got the transform skew, transform, etc. You also have animations available here if you want to fade in, slide, uh, bounce, and the options for the animation all available right there. You got your advanced settings for CSS for the ID class here. Custom CSS for the general. Remember, we're in this section, okay? The conditions, the visibility, the transitions, positions, the scroll effects, just a bunch of things that you can do with the DB Builder. Now, you can go ahead and remove elements if you want. You can go to keep them. You can add more or just do a whole bunch of things. You got the modules available here called actions, commenters, logins, uh, persons. There's a lot of these available or you can add from library or you can explore more from the DB modules. So you can see that this is a really robust WordPress builder that it DB is okay. Now, if you want to add new sections, you can do so by clicking on the plus buttons right there. So you got regular specialty and full width. So I'll add a full width really quickly here and I'll use full width image and we can just go ahead and change the image there or generate it with AI. So um, I'll just say copy really quickly for this and I'll just say generate. There's also the reference option for this to generate images. But along with building this with AI, we have AI built into it with the image generations too. So it's not just about the layout, but also the next images that you create. So I'll go ahead and select and use this image and it should be added to this header that we've just created. Here it is. Now we have options to move the image if we like. So you got all your design settings, the sizing, the spacing, the width, etc., and do a whole lot of things with this. So it doesn't stop there. I mean, there's a bunch of things that you can do. Now I like all these available options because for me, Divi has been the most robust and the easiest for me to build websites because it gives me the flexibility that I need when a client asks for it. Because if a client needs for me to move this for it uh, somewhere, I can do so by doing it uh, really easily. I don't have to go and tweak like margins manually or anything like that. I can do it from here. And it just gives you the flexibility to know that if a client needs something to be done on the website, it is possible with DB themes. So definitely a great builder especially now that they've added this AI builder. The themes are not the best, but you have all the power of modifying it later on. So if you want to check out Divi, go to the link in the description and grab your Divi theme builder. And if you plan to grab a hosting plan, don't forget to use my coupon code. And that's a wrap for Divi.